A number of us has used carfilzomib and dexamethasone for patients and in the real world we are finding incredibly deep responses occurring very rapidly after just one cycle of carfilzomib based treatment. What is also apparent is that it is able to give patients carfilzomib for a longer duration of time but if you are going to do this it's very important that you manage their toxicities appropriately. And what we've learned about with carfilzomib is the need for very strict monitoring of cardiovascular risk. And this essentially means monitoring their blood pressure in a very regimental fashion and asking patients to keep diary cards of how their blood pressure is evolving during treatment and giving advice and asking them to see their GPs accordingly. Also what we're seeing is the incidence of dyspnea or breathlessness and we're noticing in the real world that we can rack back on the amount of fluid that we're giving patients to try and limit the breathlessness and the leg swelling that occurs with carfilzomib. And finally, in terms of the long-term delivery of carfilzomib, we do need to think very carefully about peripheral access. And some patients may need the use of central lines such as PICT lines to be able to deliver that long-term treatment.